Yo, Lindsay, I see you, my nigga. Hey, K. I already told him what it is, man. I better be ready, man. Slip it, this motherfucker. Huh? These niggas like to talk. I ain't really got no. This is being brought to y'all today by Top Dot Man and Game Comics and all kind of illness. Where nerdies rule. You know. And welcome back to another witty thought today. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for subscribing to the channel. Those that are subscribed, if you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You can like, share, comment, you know, let me know what you think and all that good stuff. Today's um, witty thought will be encouragement. How you can encourage those around you, how you can encourage yourself. How you can encourage other people by just everyday actions, you know? You ain't got to walk up to nobody and give them a manual on life, but you can give them a suggestion, you know? You can say, hey, listen, you are going to be on top of everything today. You are not going to slip on nothing. You are going to be sharp. You are going to be accurate. You're going to be factual. You're going to be stone cold solid today you know just words of encouragement um you can do an encouraging action like somebody fall pick them up brush them off pat them on the back you know what i'm saying send them on their way like it's just that right there it's like talking you let them know like okay i know what you're talking about that's cool you know and giving me that extra push to keep me going so that's encouraging use that you know some people use it backwards. Some people don't use to encourage. They use to discourage. You know, they use to take away people's encouragement because they don't have no sort of encouragement themselves. But you got to dodge past that, like, you know, cars. Dodge past the, like, you're about to get hit by a car. You jump out the way. That's how you take discouragement. You take it like a car that's running straight on to you and you look and you see if it's a way you can get out, you dodge the car. You know, because if it hits you, you're going to be messed up for a minute. You know, this is discouragement. It's meant to to not enable you to do anything. It's meant to disable you from doing anything. So, rather than discourage, try encouraging people. You know, especially your family. I know a lot of people out here, for some reason, the rhetoric nowadays is, you know, me against the world. That's the mentality that most people get, and they forget that they got a big family base. Me, you will always hear me say, and you will always hear me say, I do this for my squad. And I say squad, I mean brothers and sisters, people that we didn't, the people that I didn't grew up and threw up with for 37 something years, and the people that know me best, like a book, and the people that I know best, like a book. I, I know a lot of people, I got a lot of family, I got a lot of friends, I don't know all my family yet. You know, you know, I got, I know 98% of my friends. I didn't, so a few of them I might have forgot, but if they pop up and I see them, they be in the memory banks. But I, I remember a pretty good amount of all my friends. So, you know, I got a good memory when it comes to stuff like that. But, you know, just as to me, that's encouraging. That's encouraging to know that I have a strong family base. I got a strong friend base, you know, and I have good surroundings and, good vibes coming in you know back in the day way back in the day when i was much much younger you know things wasn't so rosy so i decided to turn that on around and you know make stuff make it better for myself people around me i got a child so i had to make situations and circumstances better for her as well too so i had to change and i had to encourage those around me instead of discouraging people because I used to discourage people, but now that's not my MO. So that's what I'm saying. You, you take your knowledge, take your wisdom and your understanding and use it to encourage people. Don't use it to discourage people. Um, also, if y'all got somebody out there, man, and y'all know they just need a few words, go and give them a few words, man. Even if you feel like, even if it's feeling like they don't want you to give it to them, give it to them anyway, sooner or later. If you keep picking away at ice, it eventually 
end up chunking and then you can get to the core of whatever you're trying to get to you know you could use any other analogy in that instance right there i just use that one because you know pick ice just put it together but yeah just encourage especially your family encourage people um if you see somebody down pick them up man brush them off man let them know everything will be all right um encourage folks to do the safe and right thing you know encourage them to make good decisions encourage them to make good life um decisions as well and encourage them to make excuse me encourage them to make um good ideas good ideas are needed nowadays too many people um are resorting to letting things be done for either mechanically or through somebody else but it's, it no, it never hurts to get up and do something yourself and encourage people to do it you know encourage people I guess that's what celebrities kind of do you know they encourage people to I guess live, live life you know me I think they encourage you to use your imagination and think beyond the box but if other people use knowledge in different ways so you know but yeah y'all I would like to thank y'all once again we are at a uh, 447 and we're growing I would like to give a quick couple of shout outs um, to my regular people and some new people I'm still gonna do my video on Monday but I just wanted to give a shout out to my homegirl, it's Sasha. Like she was, she been now uh, repping me. That's kind of cool. Uh, I have a new subscriber. I'm gonna get her name and put her down there. I think her name is Danielle. Danielle something. But she get a shout out in my next video. But you already know my boy Campbell, my boy Lloyd, my boy Dava, my dad, my cousin Ramon Howe, my brother uh, Will the Art Addict, uh, my homeboy Merlin the Mutt. Um, my, my dude the serious gaming my dude van sanity like all these people that i'm naming are super super staples in the game you know what i'm saying they they rock with me they rock with the podcast everything um they you know they mess with me fully you know what i'm saying they fan fam so um i got a few more serious gaming um my boy only b jones especially my boy only b jones uh i got a few more my, my homegirls Tiffany Blogs. That's that's my home, my little homie right there. And oh, who else? 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 Mm, yeah, about off right now. I was gonna think it was one other one, but I'm spacey, so I gotta wait. But yeah, y'all. Thank you to all y'all that long list of people I just named for rocking with me, rapping. You know what I'm saying? Helping me pass the channel around and. And give me a couple shots out in videos and put me on there a little bit further in this YouTube game. Since we Nerd Gang Nation, we're all going, we all coming in that thing. So, Miss Diamond, welcome to the 300 Club, big baby. Sasha, welcome to the 200 Club. And everybody else is over two and 300. Welcome to the club. Let's run up in here. And with that being said, you are now exiting the world of games, comics, and all kind of illness, Nerdy's Wool. Thank you for not starting no trouble. And y'all go ahead and relax for the night. You know how we do. I am out. With more, gone.